What have you got? It's a Victorian skeleton. Oh, it's nice. I've come to the pawn shop today with my Victorian skeleton. I bought the skull on the internet. I'd like to get about £450 for the skull. I'd probably go as low as 350 No, I didn't kill this person. Are you a doctor or something? No, I'm not a doctor. I just uh, collect unusual things. Well, I think you, you've hit the jackpot with this one. That looks like a leg. Come on, boy. There we are. That's that. Oh, my neck. This looks like a woman, doesn't it? That's like a small head. Yeah. Oh, very pretty. <laughs> Skull cap. Skull cap. Oh, my God, I don't get like my dad. Well, there he is. So what can you tell us about it, then? Do you know how old it is, or if it's a man or a woman, or...? The person I bought it off said it was uh, Victorian. So, Simon, you're the geek. You must know a lot about the history of bones. I mean, I would love to know who the person actually was. Were they murdered? Were they murdered? Because it was quite a thing, wasn't it, in the Victorian times? They were actual body snatchers, where somebody would be deceased, they'd be buried, and they'd actually get paid by the local doctor to go out, get the remains, and then they'd be doing an operation in a room, a huge room, in a college, opening up, looking at legs, muscles, bones. At one point, body snatching was big business, and not one grave was safe. Living people were actually snatched and murdered for their bodies. It got that bad, the government started to regulate the anatomy teachers which more or less ended the body snatching trade. Is that a hip joint? Is it a hip? It's yeah, I think that's half, half of the pelvis. So that's... Where's this that is down? the shoulder blade. That's the shoulder blade. That's the one that looks like an elephant's ear. Mm. Getting back to the skull, the likes of the, the wire that bolted down there, that obviously, I think, has been in a doctor's surgery. I think the skeleton's quite cool. It's in quite good condition, considering, supposedly, it's over 200 years old. However, buying human remains, it's not so cut and dry. I hope our friend has got all of his paperwork in order. So what do you want to do with this, then? Um, well, I'm after selling it all together. What do you want to sell it for? Probably about um, five, five hundred pounds. It's just a shame it's not a complete skeleton. How much are you willing to offer? Right. It's a bit of an odd one. So they go for quite a bit of money, you know. Mm. If they're full and they're wired, they can go for up yeah. to sort of nine, £900. Apparently, there was a, an act called the Human Tissue Act in 2004. Basically, whoever you buy it off has to have paperwork to say where they got it from. Yeah. Basically, to say you haven't gone outside, killed somebody. So, unless you've got proper paperwork from where you bought yeah. it from, we can't buy it. Did you get nothing I on the no, internet? No, I didn't. I didn't get any certificate. Sorry, it would be yeah, pretty no cool problem. to buy that, but yeah. I ain't getting arrested by the police for having a skeleton in here. In your closet? In your closet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for bringing it in, anyway. They couldn't um, buy it off me because I didn't have a certificate for it. So I'm going to have to drive home with my bones. It's possible I've got something uh, illegal with me. <laughs> <laughs>